deep inside Earth's ancient oceans. Long after the planet cooled, something small and silent began to change everything. In part three, we saw the first tiny pieces of matter copy themselves. But now, after millions of years, those pieces finally organized into the first real cells. They held atoms like carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, even oxygen inside them. Yet the world around them had almost no oxygen at all. The atmosphere above was still dark, toxic, and heavy. Life existed only in the oceans, quietly multiplying, drifting, waiting. Then one group of cells evolved a strange new ability. They learned to eat sunlight. They were ancient cyanobacteria, tiny microbes, not plants, but the first beings to perform photosynthesis, and their breath was oxygen. At first, the oceans swallowed it, oxidizing iron, turning entire seas red for millions of years. But eventually, the water had enough. Oxygen broke free and rushed into the atmosphere, and this new gas didn't bring peace. To early life, oxygen was death. Species collapsed. Whole lineages disappeared. Life faced its first global extinction. But in the ruins, a few survivors found a way to use this dangerous gas. Not as a poison, but as fuel. And that discovery changed everything. Oxygen became power. Power became complexity. And complexity became the future. Then came the moment everything changed. Simple cells began merging, sharing strength, becoming more than they ever were alone. Life didn't just survive. It leveled up. And that leap, the birth of complex life, is our next chapter. Join the Seeking Tribe. The story of existence is only just beginning.